Okay, so I'm going to prime my lids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Fix. And then with my Sigma Large Shader E60 brush and my Laura Geller Illuminating Face Powder, I'm just going to set those lids. Now that our lids are primed, I am going to go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette with the um, So Bougie shade. And I am just using my It Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, I've rubbed everything off of it. Um, I have no idea what number this is because I've literally used it so much I've rubbed all the numbers off. But it looks like this. It's just a large shader. Very similar to a Sigma E40. I'm just gonna buff that into the crease. I'm gonna bring that a little bit onto the lid as well. Next, we're gonna go in using the color Coco Truffle, and I am using another It brush from Ulta with the numbers rubbed off, but it looks like this. I'm just gonna kind of deepen this crease and outer V. And I want to wing this out just a little bit. Um, you can see I'm starting to create that wing shape. And I'm going to go in with that fluffy brush we used before and the original So Bougie shade. And just really blend that all in. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Fudge in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. I'm going to be taking that brush we used the truffle color for, Coco Truffle, that same brush. I'm going to take the Coco Truffle shade on the brush we just used, bring that up over the lid just a little bit more. And one more time with this brush with no extra product on it. So pretty. And it has that little wing shape, which is perfect. Okay. So now we are going to put the shimmery shade on our lid here. So I'm going to go in with the color Gold Dipped from the Chocolate Gold Palette and just press that on the top very lightly. And I'm not cut creasing this. I'm just pressing it over top of those um, brown shadows towards the front of my eye. And then with my, with another finger, I'm going to go in with the shade Rich Girl. And that's just a really pretty champagne shade. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that. Just put that over top. The metallics in this palette are honestly some of the best I have ever used. I am obsessed with just about every metallic shade in this entire palette. And I am not usually very impressed with Too Faced shadows as a general rule. So the fact that I love just about every single shade in there, including the matte shades, is a big deal. And I would highly recommend getting that palette if you're looking for a palette of really intense metallic shades to kind of use in your collection. So now this looks like every warm brown cut crease I've ever done. Um, but we're going to move on. So I'm also going to pull back out that subculture palette. And I'm going to take this um, 
number 221 eye smudger brush by It Cosmetics. And I'm going to, ah, I just got eyeshadow all over my sleeve. So that's awesome. I'm going to be taking the color Edge, which is this, just a really pretty mustard color. And I'm just gonna be putting it underneath my eye. I'm going to be doing Mary Luminizer from the Balm as my inner corner highlight. I'm going to just take, want, want to take a little bit more of that edge shade that we used before on my Sigma E25 brush and just really buff that out. I'm even following that yellow like right up underneath the wing shape of this eye. So, so pretty. We're gonna go ahead and pop some lashes on. So I'm using my Eiler Luke's Foam Ink Lashes. Look like this. And um, I'm gonna pop them on and be right back. Okay, so I've put my lashes on. They look so nice. So let's go ahead and do mascara and lipstick. I am using my Tarte's Camera Lashes Mascara like usual. And I'm just going to get right underneath. And now let's do lipstick. So I'm going to be using my Sephora Cream Lip Stain in number 33, and I believe this is Pink Peony, but it's really just a nude color. And I do like to put a little light layer of lip balm underneath my liquid lipsticks if I find they're too drying. Um, the Sephora lip stains are really pretty good in terms of drying, but just in case, um, as it is summer and I feel like my lips a little crack a little bit more during the summer, um, I just like to put a little layer of lip balm underneath. So I did that prior to putting this lipstick on. And this color is actually super, super similar to Styla Stale Day Liquid Lipstick in Caramello. So if you're looking for a much cheaper alternative, I think that one is like 24. I'll double check that price. And this cream lip stain is only 14, I believe. So you can save 10 bucks and get almost an identical shade that way. If you're looking for a dupe, here it is. So here is the final look. 